Today, friends, we're gonna discuss our angel ornament for 2021. All right, friends, so all of the students will be decorating a pine cone. And the pine cone uh, can be decorated based however they want to with the items that we have. I'll show here in a second. Um, and also, we've already taken the privilege of separating out your cones and your little planters. Okay, so have your students decorate their cone. They can even decorate their planner. There are some stickers that we can add on or they can do some type of fancy thing that they wanna do. Be creative because this year, our donors will get to keep this lovely decor piece to add to their Christmas ensemble this year. We have glitter of all colors. Glitter brings joy. Oh, I hate glitter. <laughs> I hate glitter. We also have little ornaments that could be stuck on the tree. Um, there's stickers, there's all kind of decor. We have paint brushes for the use. Friends, let's not be wasteful, so come and squirt your paint. Um, my lovely assistant took the privilege of uh, trying a different technique as well. And in this technique, she poured some paint on a plate and she rolled the pine, corn, pine cone. But um, as you can see, just the tips are coated and it's very pretty. This would be very pretty as is, or you can also take some hodgepodge spray and you can sprinkle some glitter to make it a little more fancy. But this was just a teeny weeny baby. No one's doing any, uh, any pine cones this small, but this is a cutie patootie. So after you have retrieved your pine cones and supplies and have everything decorated, return decorated pine cones and little planters to us just as is. Because my lovely assistant and I will take the privilege of hot gluing it to the little planter. The second most important thing about this project is uh, sitting down with the students and having them give you their wish items. And we will all keep our wish items in one file, which is on our Google uh, Docs, drive, my, uh, my drive. And it's under the angel wishes. Click it. For some reason, it's asking me to download, and I did, and it will pop up. So friends, this is the actual sheet that we would use for inputting. I put Olivia in just in the, as an example of how it should be. You could just copy and paste and then just fill in another student's information. But you will need to sit with the student, have them look on the tablets, find two items that they're interested in. Uh, both should be $35 or below. And you may want to input where you got found the, infer, the item so that the shopper can know where to look. You do want to put the student's age. And friends, just for good measure, let's go ahead and put a capital G or a capital B for girl or boy, just so that there will be no uh, confusion about the name. So this is in Google Drive. And friends, another thing, um, let's not delete any of the student's information. Insert a page do a duplicate page, and let's just continue to add information each time for each student. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe <laughs> for future videos on Crafty To-Dos.